Oh, you cute little thing. God damn it. This thing is just too cute. Oh, I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, uh, why don't we actually just go ahead and get started and people will come when they come. So, uh, a couple of things. Welcome back, by the way, to Let's Go uh, Pikachu. A couple of things have uh, kind of changed since the last stream yesterday. We uh, now actually have a new, well, not new, but changed friend. In uh, Karsten is now a golem. <laughs> Karsten is now a rough and tough. Oh, no, 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 cancel, cancel. Karsten is now a golem. And listen, the aid of my good friend Randomies. Uh, we traded a couple of Pokemon back and forth, and I got Karsten to evolve from a Graveler to a Mighty Golem. So I'm wondering, actually, just uh, how strong he will be in this form, as well as what moves he'll still learn. Actually, th that's a good point I just brought up to myself. I need to check what, um, what moves, if any... Hey, Ace, welcome to the stream. What moves, if any, that Golem can learn... After he evolves. It's not the same thing as evolving with, like, a stone, I'm assuming. Hey, Draco Fox. Hina Kuni. Welcome to the stream. So, I want to see Let's Go. So, you know, he, he can still learn moves. So, he's, what, what is he now? He's level 25, I think. So, he will learn. He's just got, he still has Earthquake, Double Edge, and Explosion to go. Okay, that's fair. That's totally fair. So Golem is still quite good for the future. Uh, I've started a randomized Nuzlocke on Silver with all Pokemon moves of all gens. I'm starting Pokemon as a fucking Dragonite with spatial lands. <laughs> well, game over. Good, good going there. That that's a, that's an automatic win in my book. Hey, you Kokichi, welcome to the stream. So we have done quite a bit. So last time when we were on stream, we actually went to the Celadon Game Corner. We beat Team Rocket. We got the fourth gym badge, and we have picked up the Silph Scope. So now we are very much ready to go forward into the Lavender Town Pokemon Tower. So that's Cubone's mom. Hey, Randomize. That's right. Team Rocket keeps on going after Marowak so we can sell off those skulls they were for profit. I think Cubone is still looking for its mother even though she's gone. I just can't forgive the Team Rocket. Oh, who can forgive Team Rocket? Let's be, let's be for real right now. Saw Cubone heading into the tower a little while ago too. I'll go look for it and I'll keep an eye out for that Mr. Fuji too, the one who's been missing. Okay. Will do. Seriously, dude, you didn't even see me? I'm standing right there. Uh, Ace, you are currently not anything. Hey, Clara. Welcome to the stream. And Rogue. Hey, you two. So he's just gonna kind of just stick there. Um, considering we're going into a... Eh? Why don't I just... Where do I go? Oh. Oh, I... Wow. Okay, wait, those are options? Hold the phone. Movie skipping? Vibration? No vibration's fine. Switch. Battle effects. Tech speed. Yeah, let's go fast. <laughs> I don't even... Okay. I'm, uh, I'm having a little too much fun. Oh, wait, crap. I need to save him, don't I? Yeah, save those changes. Thank you. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, right. Mankey, I don't think you're going to be that useful here, uh, unfortunately. Why don't we actually bring out Karsten? I think that's a fine idea, considering he's a golem now. Boop. Done. Uh, you got most of that, right? What'd you say? Want to come with me? Sure. Sure, let's do this. Ready when you are. All right, randomize. <laughs> let's go for it. Wait, when you say you're behind me, does this mean you're like super behind me? So we're not going to find anything yet. Next floor. Do you think these really are ghosts? 
Maybe ghost types. Gabriel, what's that? <laughs> what's that? Let's go. Oh my god, that's a haunter. Whoa, what? What? I. Oh, okay then. Ghost type Pokemon aren't actually that scary, so keep going. No, wait a minute. You. You have a problem with ghosts, but not ghost types? I. I don't understand the logic in that, because aren't they all still ghosts? Speaking of which. Let's get yourselves a ghastly. Oh my god, level 32? <laughs> what? Alright then. Damn you. Eh. Hey. Hey, Walt. We literally just started. Yo, where did the hunter go? Holy Stark Fawn. Look at the stream. If I got, why can't I can't watch the stream? Well, I don't know what you want me to do. It's my schedule, man. Oh, god damn it. Oh, oh it's a Cubone. I, I couldn't even see you. All right, I'll catch you. I said I will catch you. You motherfucker. All right, fine. What are you doing? Thank you. I was going to say, after all that trouble, <laughs> I better damn well catch that Cubone. Do 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 I am totally not opposed to catching a lot of stuff in here. Just mostly because I could use the experience with the team. Alright, these things like to move. Hold on. You stop that. You stay still. Damn you! Eh. You're just gonna give me trouble, aren't you? You stupid ball of gas. Oh, dude, come on. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Oh, poor Stark Fawn. Uh, Cubone's as hard as hit uh, as hard to hit in battle. Then it's a nice one. You know, you'd think. Come on, I just need to catch a Ghastly. Let me do this game. Stop making this difficult. Thank you. Like I'm not breaking out my Great or Ultra Balls for this. No way in hell. Now when I have. Crap tons of uh, Pokeballs to use. Hey, Draco Fox is actually level 30. That's cool. You're the first Pokemon, I think, other than Pikachu to make it to level 30. Uh, stay, stay, stay. God damn, you stay in there, you adorable thing. There's Zubat in here. That's a little weird. Maybe we should try getting like a catch combo going with these ghastly, if I can. All right then. Oh, these things like to move. Ha! Caught you at your own game. Where do you think you're going next? Okay, good. Please catch the thing. I get the feel- I was about to say, I get the feeling I'm not gonna be able to get a catch combo going with these guys. They're just a little too hard to get. Oh, Jesus. That's a gold bat. Whew. All right, then. That's a big, big bat. And, uh, pick up teleport. Not too bad. Stick that in the back there. And what's this? Full heal. Nice. 
Oh. Ah, here we go. I see a bone and crying. Do you now? I wonder why that is. If I sound tired today, it's because, well, one, I kind of am, but two, I, I, I had a lot of singing this morning. My voice is kind of torn to shreds just a little bit. <laughs> no rest for the no rest for the weary, but we gotta we just gotta we just gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, why don't we actually use Karsten here? I want to feel how Golem controls in combat. Of course, you burn my goddamn boulder. Cause that makes total sense. All right, what do we? You only have one Pokemon, so Stealth Rock is kind of pointless. Let's just go Rock Slide. God, if you weren't burned, that would have been even better. Do do. Oh, come on. Seriously? Uh, have I told you before that I love the timing of your streams? It's hard to get a lot of streams on the other side of the world. Your streams are always on a reasonable time for me. Well, that is actually a part of the reason why I've scheduled my schedule the way it is is because there are streams that are very Europe friendly because I have a lot of people who watch me from Europe uh, probably because of my whole <laughs> lot, lot, of, lot of people in Europe like the JRPG stuff um, and some of my streams are good for American times so that's why it kind of works out well that, that's why I always feel bad if I decide to like I feel like streaming and it's at like 8 o'clock at night it's like well I know one half of the world is not really going to be able to watch which is kind of a shame but it, it just sort of it just sort of happens that way. Do yeah, poor Karsten is just freaking burned and almost dead. Uh, let's patch him up, shall we? So hold on, if I were to use my type, oh yeah, there we go. That is much better to look at. Holy crap, seventy HP. That's perfect for you. And I think I have a burn heal some. Yep, I do. A lovely green burn heal. Welcome back, Carson. <laughs> I love how Golem walks. He just rolls. Okay, you. Your turn. Hey, Mr. Lox, welcome to the stream. Europe, Europe, Europe. <laughs> I know, it's very it's very surprising, because like you guys don't get to see this, but I get to see all my like analytics and demographics and stuff like that. And it always surprises me actually how many people watch me in Europe. Because that's that's usually not the case. Uh, most people tend to I mean unless you're like big then it, it doesn't matter you got people from everywhere but when you look at a channel like my size which I'm like a small a, a medium smallish channel uh, on YouTube and uh, relatively small on Twitch when you look at my demographics it's so weird for an American channel to have basically almost like um like a 55 45 percent split between Europe and the United States it's kind of crazy hello hey there GGK Dragon Rage would probably be the best thing to use, wouldn't it? Hmm. Welcome to the crazy world, gamer. Well, hey. <laughs> there are worse places to be. Hurt by poison. It is kind of a shame. It is... Uh, this is toxic, isn't it? We don't kill you soon. We are gonna have some serious trouble. <laughs> I 
Welcome to the Crazy World Gamer, where you get peeps from the other side of the world to enjoy your things, even though it's like 2 a.m. for some of them. This is true. Like, that is that is probably like the most uh, crazy thing. Use both controllers on your own. Use your own game as its own cheating system. Hey, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna pull a randomize. That's how he plays. <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm doing it the proper way. Oh, a Charmeleon, you're so nice. You cured your own poison. Mir miraculously. Um, we will switch though. Garson, come back out. Uh <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't I don't tend to see that a lot with American viewers. A lot of them just like eh. If he's on, he's on. If it's too late, I'm not gonna watch. But but for some reason, you Europeans are freaking insane. Watching me at like three, four o'clock in the morning. I love you guys so much. Oh man. <laughs> bad kitty cheating is bad game. It's just that hands. <laughs> Damn it, rogue. This is why they call you rogue, isn't it? Hey, Mintum leveled up. And he wants to learn... Oh, bite. That's actually much better than tackle. Goodbye to tackle. Am I gonna name any Pokemon after GGK? Well... Maybe? I'm not sure. Considering she mostly... She, she co-ops with me most uh, a bunch of times. Probably not. Because the only thing Pokemon I could think of that would be good for her would be Meowth and... We all know how that well, uh, how well that went with the Ultra Sun who <laughs> played through. <laughs> Maybe I fight the system. Well, there you go. Oh my god, I need to switch. I need to switch you out of here. You know, actually, to be like totally honest, uh, Zero, you're kind of useless here. He's freaking, all these ghosts are poison types. You're, you're, you're pointless. Not pointless, but you just, you have no use. Ah! I need to switch you out. Oh, regular mouth impression is fine? Alright, fine. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, did they use Confuse Ray as much in this version? Because I remember back in Red, they used it all the time. One of the reasons why I think they used it a lot is back, uh, back in the first... Kind of two generations, mostly the first, but the second one had this too sometimes. Uh, a lot of the times they program trainers, and their Pokemons wouldn't, they, their Pokemon would not have full move sets. Like they'd have like two or three moves sometimes instead of four, which means they only have so many options to choose from. All of a sudden, Mintum has become really goddamn good at killing ghosts. Do, 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 do. Oh, stay alive. Oh, is this burn gonna knock me out? I wonder. Ho oh, oh, ho, almost. Uh, switch, please. Hey, Susha. Uh, I've read the tweet about Article 13. I know, I know about Article 13, uh, mostly. I can't do anything about it. I'm not a European. <laughs> uh, th there's not really much I can do other than just kind of sit back, eat popcorn, and watch the shit show that is the the EU Parliament. Pass probably what could be one of the worst possible internet copyright laws in history. You know, YouTube copyright was bad. I, I don't I don't envy you guys over there in Europe right now with with this whole Article 13 nonsense going on. That is just ugh asinine. Really, all of these things are just burning the ever living bejesus out of me. I don't like this. I do I do not like this. All right, is there still the healer up on the next floor, I wonder? There isn't a lot that we can do either. All I can do is sign petitions. That's not a thing we vote on. Yeah, I know. That's the that's the really sucky part. Hello, Haunter. 
Whoa! Have to hope and pray. See, the the thing is, the only thing I could think of actual voters being able to have something to do with the Article 13 stuff is you just gotta let you, your representatives know. I mean, I don't know how it works exactly in the EU. Why I don't understand the EU parliamentary system when it, when it comes to the European Union. Um, but if if the people who are elected or delegated uh, to this to these positions know that they're not going to be able to be reelected if they vote on this, that's the best way to kind of curtail them. That's the problem with representative uh, uh, forms of government. Th th this is probably one of the the few uh, major. I went flying. This is one of the few major proponents to, I think, like, true democracy. Is that everybody gets to vote on, you know, the stuff that they do. Oh my god, come on, dude. Fucking Christ. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to get you. Ah! What the hell is this bullshit? Alright, that's it. Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball, because I know he's gonna pop out of this stupid thing. And an Berry. Huh? Okay, you stand still right now so I can do that and actually catch you. That's how it ended up with Rex. None of us wanted it. People voted by a short percentage and now it's been crap since then. Well, I, I, I ain't British so I'm not going to comment too much on, on, on things like that. But when it comes to, like here in the US, if you're a senator, uh, this mostly it's mostly a senator thing even though it does does work with the house of reps too over here the house but there's so many delegates usually for a lot of states that that's not as powerful but with the senate there's only two per state two senators if if a senator votes like um i'm trying to think of like the whole the whole thing with the Brett Kavanaugh situation was probably the best example of this everybody who voted I think against confirming Brett Kavanaugh, who is up for re-election in heavy red states, none of them got re-elected because of pretty much that. And they all pulled these people and said that that was one of the hugest reasons they did not re-vote these people in. The one, I believe he was a Democrat, I think Joe Manchin from West Virginia, though he's the one uh, Democrat who voted yes to confirm Kavanaugh in deep red West Virginia, he got re-elected. So it's things like that. that that's probably one of the best ways to curtail runaway representatives uh, in places like Congress or the Senate, you know, things like that. That's just kind of how it works. Um, I don't know, there's problems with direct democracy as well. I play a lot of, like, Stellaris and all this other stuff, so I, I know I know how these systems are supposed to work in theory. Um, I'm trying to remember, because old Athenian democracy was kind of a crazy thing because it was direct democracy. I believe every single adult male in ancient Athens got to vote on whatever issues the city wanted to pass. That's it's very much like a local level sort of thing. Bailey Thomas, thank you so much for the for the pledge over on Patreon, my friend. I appreciate that. <laughs> I didn't see it coming. I guess that works for this too. Um but yeah the Direct democracy has a serious problem of becoming mob rule, because uh, w whenever you have a majority, I mean, it's it's kind of a it's 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 an anecdotal sort of thing, but I mean, Hitler was elected into power in in Nazi Germany, so I mean, elections can be a good or a bad thing. Demo democracy is something that can easily be destroyed. And you always have to do your utmost to kind of try to preserve it as best as you can. Hey, Tommy Gun, welcome to the stream. I did, I did, I did, I did not want this to be a politics stream. <laughs> uh, thank you for the, thank you for the, the Hunter compliments. Uh, that, that bastard is moving too quick, and I'm like, all right, I'm not taking any chances. Using an Ultra Ball, Nana Berry, done. I love democracy. I love the Republic. Yeah, it, it, it works. Let me tell you. Definitely, Golem, you. Carson, you, you having some trouble? Hello, that's another haunter. Sorry, it's fine. No, it's fine. I don't, I don't mind talking about. It. I'm a very relatively political person in my private life. I try not to bring that on the internet though, because that just gets holy crap. 
really bad really, really quickly. What the? You... Oh, no! You bastard. Okay. Why the hell do these ghosts move too much? What's my favorite Pokemon on my team currently? Um... It's a good question. I mean, Pikachu's been doing friggin' work, let me tell you. Uh, other than that, though, probably one of my favorites, my two favorites to use right now, other than, obviously, my starter, is... What, what, it, what, it, what, it, what would it be? I, I, I'm really enjoying Carson right now, because he's a golem. And then there's also uh, Clara, Clara, Kadabra. I always love the Kadabra line. It's one, of, it's, it's one of my favorites from Gen 1. Oh, there we go. He decided to freaking stop moving. Damn you! Hey, there we go. Good. Good. Get in the ball. You give a lot of experience, too. That ain't half bad one bit. You thought it was Lady Iactium, but it was me, a pun! What kind of exercise do you lazy people do? Diddly squats! <laughs> I like that. Okay, thank god. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. Karsten seems to be having some trouble. I... I don't know what we can do about this, though. You, you okay there, buddy? Carson nimbly hopped in the air. He nimbly hopped in the air? He's a freaking boulder! How the hell could he do that? You see him rolling. They hate him. <laughs> Ever since I saw the golem in the pre-release trailers, uh, just rolling along after you, I'm like, that's it. I need a golem. Oh my god. I keep forgetting to change freaking zero out of the first slot. Will I ever catch a break? He's working out. He's doing his rotations, man. <laughs> oh man, where's Ein when you need him? Lady was in labor with her first child when suddenly she began to shout, shouldn't, couldn't, wouldn't, didn't, can't. The doctor said to the husband, don't get too alarmed, she's just having contractions. Oh my god. God damn it. Hey, Mintum can uh, really kind of lay on the pain. Did you see Kangaskhan? My main reason to catch one was the walking animation. Where can you find Kangaskhan? Is it going to be somewhere around the Safari Zone? Oh, well, the Safari Zone? I know it's the Go Park or something. Whatever it's called. Hey, Mintum has done work. It's at Rock Tunnel? Really? You can find Kangaskhan at Rock Tunnel? What? Ooh. Now I want to go back and hunt. <laughs> now I want to go back and hunt a Kangaskhan. A for a Kangaskhan. You heard nothing. All right, Crimson. Your turn. Why the hell is this place so creepy? This, this, this is the creepy place. This is the creepy place in the original games. The music, the the fact that you're dealing with the dead. Ooh, sucker punch. Well, hum diddly dum. I see how it is. There we go. Am I even useful in this tower? Uh, not really, to be totally honest. You just learned agility, though, Draco. <laughs> um, do I actually want this? Attack, sand attack. I mean, I'll take that over sand attack. Sure, why not? You got agility. And uh, we do have one more. You know what? Sure, Crimson, you can stay out. Do, 
do 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 Okay, are you just gonna keep sucker punching me? Ha! Not today. I'll do it one more time. Ooh, now you're gonna nightshade me, huh? Hmm. Ha ha ha! That's what I was hoping for. Uh, to be honest, I was hunting King Scum when I found my shiny Machop. Ooh, I need to catch a Machop too. I only found one in the rock tunnel and he ran away before I could catch him. I was under possession, that's what they all say. Carson, come out first. Uh, Draco, you're gonna go back in the box for the time being. You know what? Because I'm feeling magnanimous today. Let's bring Stark Fawn back into the party, guys. <laughs> Let's bring Stark Fawn back so we can gain some levels. <laughs> I purified this space here. Yes, thank you. This space is quite useful. I will admit. Do, 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 do. Admittedly, Starkfun actually wouldn't be too bad in this area if he was a uh, high enough level. All right, Karsten, give it your best rock slide, my friend. Damn, that is strong. Ah, keep out on. We'll keep you out. Ah, uh, the seal of the floor is just a healing spot. Yes, welcome back to the land of the living, my friend. I regained my senses. Indeed. Indeed you have, Channeler. Karina? Is the name Karina? See everyone's eyelids and no one bats an eye. Remove their brains from their skulls and everyone loses their mind. What? <laughs> what is what is that from? What is that from? And I'm terrified. I mean, I know where the, the quote kinda comes from. That's that's the that's the Joker. But not that, uh, not that eyelid thing. Is it? No. Wait, is that the one from the Joker? Now I'm confusing myself. Oh, damn it, gamer, it was a pun. Oh, wait, steal everyone's eyelids and no one bats an eye. Oh, god damn it. Wow, that went over my head. This is how tired I am, guys. This is how tired I am. Motherfucker. <laughs> Ow. Clap slowly. I deserve that slow collapse for gamer. I, I will totally admit I, I deserve that. Hey, Sacred Nim. What did I just walk into? You walked into a Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu stream. Where insanity happens. Hey, Stark Fawn. He grew a level. So did Zero. Still got your gamers slow brain process. Yeah, pretty much. Damn it. Yeah, 
Karsten's not doing too hot. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh no, 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 no. Ah. Uh, me. Me. Min Mintum. 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 Come on, boy. Come here, boy. <laughs> Time for you to fight for me. Oh no, I hit... Withdraw. That is not what I meant to use. Uh, something idea I like to discuss that's been on my mind. Yeah, sure. Yeah, go, go right ahead, rogue. Everybody, I'm kind of tired. I was going to take a nap when you just came on. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I can't, uh, I can't be held responsible for that. <laughs> I mean, a nap sounds amazing right now. But if I if I if I nap now at this point of the day, I'm not gonna be sleeping tonight. I'm gonna stay awake. Don't get old. Don't get old, viewers. You get old, everything goes to shit. <laughs> Your body just doesn't want to listen to you anymore. I can't believe I got fired from the calendar factory. All I did was take a day off. <laughs> uh. Uh, ghastly. Aha! We dodged. Done. Oh, wait, no, one more? Oh, shit, one more. God, you had a lot of ghosts. Hmm. Ember and Dragon Rage seem to be doing about the same. A photon is going through airport security. The TSA agent asks if he has any luggage. The photon says, no, I'm traveling light. I do appreciate the science jokes. <laughs> Don't get old, viewers. You get old and everything goes to shit. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> you can quote me on that one. That one is way too accurate. Ah, Dragon Rage, the most consistent move. 40, 40 constant damage? Mmm, sign me up. Speaking of which... Hmm. I would love to get Mintum to about the same level as these two. So why don't... We put you away for now. We take out Neo Bullseye. Don't ask me why I'm speaking with a horrible Irish accent. Sure, we'll place that for you. And... Rogue? Sure, Rogue! Welcome back to the party. You're gonna be just as useful as friggin' Zero, but it, hey, at least I gain some experience. Yar! <laughs> what is a dyslexic, dyslexic, agnostic, insomniac do it right or at night? <laughs> Are you sure it's not me? Uh, he stays up wondering if there really is a dog. Dyslexic, agnostic. Damn it! That took a second to get. That took a goddamn second to get. That's a good one, though. Oh, fuck off. Stop with the toxic. Do 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 do. Hunter avoided the attack. That's not what I want to see.
Oh my lord. Okay then. Fine. I see how it's gonna be. Goodbye, cruel world. Hey, DJ! It's a ghost, why would spikes work on ghosts, Gappa? <laughs> hey! How you doing, TJ? You feel like it's feel like it's been forever. Alright, Mintum, it's all up to you. Goodbye, Haunter. Hello, another Haunter. Great. Uh-oh. Oh, dear God. Hmm. You know what, Rogue? Why don't you come out for a quick second? <laughs> it's been forever? No, I am forever. <laughs> How can you bite a ghost? Really, really carefully. Really, really hard. Giggity go. <laughs> Thank you, Rogue. Level 19, Star Kid 13. Stark wants to learn poison powder. Do we teach him poison powder? I think we do. You can take a bite of string shot for now. We're keeping that hardened. <laughs> oh, and stun spore? Okay, we might we might have to give it a harden here. Goodbye, Harden. Oh, and sleep powder. You want to learn all three. All right, fine, goodbye tackle. <sighs> what do I do? Well, I guess Pikachu's the only one who's equipped to do this. I want it all. <laughs> I want it all and I want it now. <laughs> Fuck you, Haunter. Star can't get hard for me now. Well, you know, you, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> Stark is now the status fairy. <laughs> I mean, hey, to be fair, this is a very useful thing to be. Well, maybe not so much in this particular game, but in, like, other Pokemon games, where you had to, like, you know, use status effects to catch hard to catch Pokemon. That is, like, a very useful thing to be. Oh, damn you! See, there you go. Stark's okay with his development. <laughs> I don't need Harden, I'm always hard. <laughs> oh, damn you. Oh, now it's gonna move, huh? Fuck. You know what? Screw it. Because, like... Speed was dumb in Gen 1, since it combined crit to the speed. Yeah. Hey, Jomar. Uh, Jomari Nave? Welcome to the stream. Do, 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 do. These freaking channelers, man, they're scary. All right, Carson, you get another crack at this. Rock slide, go. 
Rock, god damn it. Rock Slider, go, go. That is a strong move. And it's only stronger. Means it made level 29. Do, do, do. Despair, despair. Apparently, she's been playing too much Danganronpa. We got a bunch of ghastly this time. It makes a lot of mistakes when texting cold weather. They need to get warm. Where's an early sign of typothermia? Uh oh. Not the typothermia. I miss Danganronpa streams. I kind of miss it too, to be honest. Like, I'm, I'm at a point now where I could really use another, like, Danganronpa esque game. <laughs> it has been long enough. Damn it. It looks longer somehow. You know why it looks longer? I think they added extra trainers. Uh, you know what they did? I think, which makes some amount of sense, because they took out wild battles. I think they added in a bunch of trainers to each area. Just to give people who want to battle extra battle fixes. Because you don't have wild battles anymore. Yeah, no, we didn't finish Ultra Despair Girls. <laughs> Not yet. But I mean, like a good. Uh, like, like, like an actual sort of real Danganronpa experience. Not Ultra Despair Girls type thing. It's a good game. Just not really Danganronpa. At least what Danganronpa has become to known uh, by. Ah, oh, crap. I clicked the wrong one. I can only think of more JRPG games, especially right now. No. Oh, dear. Um, how about this? Mintum, have some lemonade, my friend. You look thirsty. Why don't you... Take a drink. Give shoots off another two or three years. Well, they're done with Danganronpa. They're going to be no more Danganronpa games. Um, the... I think... Who is it? The Kodaka and the guy who wrote the Zero Escape series. I think they're teaming up to do one more game that's not Danganronpa or Zero Escape, but it's going to be esque of that same sort of vein. And then that's it for them, I think. I feel anemic and weak. I'm sure you do. All right, Ghastly. Oh my god, you're zipping all over the place, aren't you? Well, hello. Hey, Neo Bullseye with the resub. 14 months, dude. You know what would be even better? If you could ride Golem and Electrode like some kind of circus act, like <laughs> tangle on top of them. I think that'd be freaking amazing. Oh god, that'd be great. Hey, we actually caught it. Thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate that. There we go. A little extra experience. I guess we can go into the box where it belongs. Uh, what's your favorite ghost type from all the gens? Ooh, now that's a good question. I really like the Golurk line. 
I, I just thought they always looked cool, but I wouldn't say they're necessarily my favorite. Be on. Oh, is this where we're... Hold the phone. Be on, intruders. Oh, dear. <laughs> Gah! This one's even bigger than the last one. Uh, but to go back to that question... I like Dooskull as well, and Dusclops and Dusk Noir. They're pretty cool, too. Hmm. I guess if I had to say, it'd be either between- it'd be between those two lines. Oh, Mimikyu is cute. Mimikyu is very cute. I, I- I don't know if I'd ever use a Mimikyu beyond its cuteness, though. <laughs> it's time for Mommy! <laughs> Why, hello there, Marowak. Oh no, Cubone! You've got to be kidding me! What is wrong with you, Nintendo? What is wrong with you, Game Freak? What is wrong with me? I'm tearing up over a Marowak I knew died 20 years ago! What the hell? What? Why? Oh. What the fuck? Oh! Oh, that hurts! Oh, it really hurts! We're doing it, my heart. damn it, DJ! Oh, God. It's a part of the afterlife, then disappeared. I guess we don't fight it this time around. Oh, man! You came here just because you wanted to see your mom again, huh? Oh, banana with the cheer, thank you so much! I'm not crying, you're crying! Cries in a corner! Oh! Oh my god, it's cry was sad! What the hell? It's fucked up, man! Dear mom, I know you're dead and all, but... Can you, can you your pocket money? Mom, mom, no! My pocket money! <laughs> it's pretty beautiful that they're able to convey that emotion after 20 years. I know, it's hard. Jeez, it's how I imagined it. God damn. I don't want to leave Cubone alone like this. I'm going to take it home. Oh, there's someone named Fuji upstairs. You think you can see him home too? Y you sure you're okay by yourself? Uh-huh. You rescued Cubone from Team Rocket? Yeah, I did. When did you go and get that strong? Right, well then, I guess I'll leave this up to you, gamer. Come on, Cubone. <laughs> I don't want to play this game anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Make me cry! Damn it! Yeah, Carson's just happy we won the battle. Carson has no emotions. Carson is just... He's, he's a rock. He's my emotional rock. <laughs> oh my god. What's my Gen 1 Dream Team? I don't know, honestly. What's my favorite ice type? Mine's Pikachu wearing a scarf and a winter hat. Uh, it, 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 I guess if I have to say my favorite ice type, I always I always loved how ridiculous Avalug looked. <laughs> He's funny. I used him in my, my when I played the Gen 6 games. He is a stone cold heart. <laughs> he is stone cold. Oh wait, shit. I need to. Well, wait a minute. Do we? Do we battle up here? Oh fuck, we do. I should have gone back and healed. I thought for a minute, I'm like, wait, nobody's up here. Expect you out of the way, we can finally get to the top. You know, they called Mr. Fuji, right? I'm gonna be op repeating your Pokemon research for the glory of Team Rocket. You won't take no for an answer. Ah, okay, I can still go back.
Ice Pikachu was so fun to troll people with online. And tis an easy battle. Something had to replace the Marowak boss fight? Uh, I guess so. Well, no, in, in the original yellow version, um, you, you fought Jesse and James here too, back then, I remember. Just, uh, they didn't come running in, I don't think. I don't remember. I thought they were already there. You had to fight, like, I think, what, two rocket grunts and then Jesse and James? Something like that. Something like that. Oh. Gramps here thinks he can resist, so we're setting him straight. You better disappear, Twerp, or be prepared to fight. I just thought of something. This whole thing of being followed by Golem makes me think of an Indiana Jones movie. <laughs> we're running from the boulder. I mean, yeah. I, that, that must be what it looks like to people. Go, Costin and Pikachu! Dear God, they're strong. Um, Rock Slide is going to be amazing on them, though. And, uh, Big Joe! You need to use, uh, Zippy Zap right now. Alright, take care of that, um... Take care of that Arbok first. Oof. Hey, that's not half bad, honestly. Uh, rock slide again. Pikachu, this time, use Thunderbolt on Weezing. Stay strong, Pikachu. Oh, God. No, not the poison. Oh, God, no, Pikachu. Uh oh. <laughs> That's not good. Hey, Stark found at level 15. Hmm. I mean, honestly, I guess Mintum's really the only true option I have here. Not too bad. Nerf golem, jeez. <laughs> no, don't nerf my golem. Golem's amazing. <laughs> what do you want? You'll regret this. Oh, I don't think so. Yeah, rip Pika. This operation stealthily kidnapped Fuji's a bust then. Did you think I know that? It'll be fine. We just have to help out with the takeover of Silphco in Saffron City. Uh oh. Hey there, Fuji. Can I poke your hand? Yes, I can. This thing is so cute. Pikachu deserves all the pets. All of the pets! Oh, he's such a good little mouse, isn't he? I think Pikachu's like literally the only reason I'd ever consider having a pet mouse or something. Otherwise, they're awful, in my opinion. But Pikachu just like makes everything better. Try Eevee, I know. Uh, I, I watched GGK play with her Eevee and I just, my heart melts every time. Oh, hey, Night Tails. Who might you be? You came to save me from Team Rocket. Thanks, but I didn't even notice they were here. I was too busy trying to calm the spirit of Marowak. Well, I did that for you, dude. 
I think Marak's spirit has finally left us. I must thank you for your kind concern. Follow me to my home. It's the Bergamot House at the foot of this tower. So, gamer, your Pokédex quest is one that requires strong dedication. Without deep love for Pokémon, it will be hard to complete such a task. I'm not sure if this will help you, but I'd like you to have it. Yes, the Poké Flute. Upon hearing the Poké Flute, the being Pokémon will spring awake. Try using it if you ever find a sleeping Pokémon. And now we never need an awakening ever again. Hold on, wait, can we still use it as like an item in battle? Please tell me we can. Uh, that even sleeping Pokemon find themselves woken up. Used to be that you could use this as basically an infinite awakening in the original games. Uh, is everybody healed? No. Oh, no. Pikachu needs to go to the Pokemon Center. Do you that you touch nine tails tail you get cursed? Yeah, I think there was one of the Pokedex entries for it. Like a before in the past, I think. Something. Something along those lines. Do 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 do. Alright, well we're doing much better now. Um we'll keep Stark, we'll keep Neo Bullseye, we'll change actually. Now, we're not going to change anybody in the party for now. This is fine. Can't wait until we get a randomizer for this. Oof. You know, a part of me would love to try doing, like, randomizers and Luz Luznox? Nuzlocks and stuff like that. Just, uh, just requires me knowing how to set all that kind of stuff up. Like, putting restrictions on myself playing a Pokemon game sound actually kind of interesting. I've never done it before. Fishing area. Water's moving gently. Hold on, can I fish? Why did the weight lifter start losing IQ points? Because he kept hanging out with dumbbells. <laughs> Rogue, you can come right out front. I love fishing, don't get me wrong, but it'd be best if I also had more work. You know? <laughs> Isn't, doesn't everybody think that way? Do, 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 do. Can you do challenges like that in most games? I did a Nuzlocke, uh, like, challenge for Persona 3 the other day. Re really? Persona 3, huh? Oh, uh, Rogue, you're very useful. Rogue, you're freaking strong. Actually, you know what I want to do? When does... When does Gloom learn everything that I want Gloom to learn? Do you learn... Oh, that's interesting. So you will actually learn Moonblast at level 45. Huh. That sounds like an ability I want. Oh, you've been confused. <laughs> Don't mind me as I absorb the remainder of your life force, Mr. Gyarados. Give me until then, coach. I think I will. So, you'll become a Vile Plume at level 45. Really? You need to do that again even though you're confused? That's bullshit. Get the hell out of here, dude. <laughs> Magikarp! The most fearsome of foes. Oh, crap. I didn't mean to... Wait, are you about to... That could have been bad. Hey, at least we knocked you out. Moonblast is a fairy type move. Uh, it's a very strong fairy type move. That'd be great to be able to use that against uh, dragon types and stuff. Oh boy. It 
did prevent me from using some personas, which made Nyx hard. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Rogue, you look like you could use a uh, super potion. That should be enough to get you through the next fight. Dragon, dark, and fighting types. Which would be very useful. Imagine getting knocked up by a magic carp as a grass type. Yeah, I, I was about to say, I'm like, I, I almost like basically ruined Rogue's image. <laughs> getting taken up by a magic carp of all things. That apparently is still pretty goddamn strong. Even gets a tangle of all things, but we will use acid. That would have hurt. Ah, uh, the rule was I get one shuffle time persona after every boss floor. No summoning from the companion. Ooh, so I had to work with what I was given. Oh, that's interesting. Hmm. That sounds like something I want to try at some point. Maybe like a stream or something. Can't believe you tried to ruin Rogue like that, gamer. <laughs> Shush! It wasn't intentional. It was an unfortunate byproduct of a mistake. You level 29 though. <laughs> and Stark at level 16. Ooh, Psybeam. Hmm. Honestly, I'd rather have uh, sleep powder or stun spore as opposed to poison powder. So goodbye to that. Ah, you're gonna send out an onyx, huh? Well, thank you, that makes my job easier. Hey, Mr. Wing! Goodbye. Intimacy level 30. It is done. All those guys are now level 30. Have I caught any new Pokemon? I've caught a Ghastly. Um, who I do think I will use. But here's the thing, now that I have an IV checker, I kind of want to... I, I only want to use Pokemon that... I guess I... have good IVs with? Look if I judge you. Yeah, you're kind of crap. This Haunter ain't that bad. Ooh, but this... this ghastly! Oh, look at this thing! Best special attack and defense! Very good speed and HP, good attack, and okay special defense. Holy crap! That is a great ghastly! It's a brave nature. So wait a minute, that means... You're gonna get more, um, attack than... Speed. Which, I guess, will be good for... Some moves. Shadow Ball is gonna be awesome. Alright, that's it. This ghastly... This ghastly is gonna become somebody. <laughs> this ghastly is going to become somebody... And we're going to find out who in just a second. So looking at my list. We have... Oh, hey, look at that. Rowboy. Uh, Rowboy. 11, 0, 1. Welcome to the team, Roboy. Ah, uh, Banana, I give all my bits to you. I'd love to see the challenge in. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Banana. I appreciate that. I don't know. We, we might see a challenge like that in the future. I, that, that definitely seems like something I'd want to try at some point. Uh, let's move you closer to the front. 
I guess. So I don't have to go searching for you too hard. Hey, there's the Snorlax. Okay, I was waiting for you. Oh, it's all that in deep and comfortable slumber. Do you want to wake him up? Yes. Yes, I do. I believe you evolve at level 36, Draco. And it looks hungry. Hey, gamer. Eh? Oh! We were out of magic when I gave you the book of loot. Oh, perfect timing. This Pokemon's called a Snorlax. It's been known to attack the first thing it sees after waking up. It thinks what it sees is food. It's gonna eat me? When you defeat it, it'll become more docile. You should be able to catch it just like any other Pokemon. Okay, so the Snorlax is gonna be like a legendary fight. He mistook me for food. A wild Snorlax appeared. His attack rose. Ooh. Wild battle music? Wild battle music. Dee -dee -dee -dee. Match time, five minutes. Oh shit, I gotta hurry. Uh, uh, fuck. You know what? Poison powder. He avoided it! You motherfucker. God damn you. I know he has rest, but anything that can help me out here, I think is going to be very, very useful. This way, this guy will still get damaged even if I'm asleep. All right, let's, let's hurry here, though. Rogue, come on. Lick! Because we just have to knock it out, right? Rogue, wake up! Oh, great, there goes his status ailment. Alright, Mega Drain time. Let's go, let's do it. Oh my god, Rogue, why? I assumed Rogue would just wake- there we go, Rogue would just like wake up really quickly. Shit. Oh, this thing is too tough. It's a snore off. Everyone is asleep. Uh, okay. No playing around now. Peeks! Pikachu! You gotta come out here and deal with this. Zippy Zap! God, this move is so good. Fine, you might rest yourself now, Mr. Snorlax. Should have saved before the match. Well, I can only assume that if we run out of time... He doesn't go away, does he? We just, um, what is it? We just probably have to fight him again? That looks like we'll be fine. We just need one more hit of this. There we go. Now is our chance. Let's catch let's catch Snorlax. Let's catch this big lummox. Hmm. How's that raspberry look? Eh, not much better. Oh, we got an excellent. Oh, come on. <laughs> Genius. We got him. Woo, look at that experience. New Pokemon, excellent throw, first throw, technique bonus. <laughs> it's Stark Fucker, two levels. Oh, it's amazing. Neo wants to learn agility? Well, it's, I guess, better than helping hand. Sort of 
Sarvan hit 17. Sarvan hit 18. Starlax's data will be added to the Pokedex. He's actually almost a foot too short, but he's a lot heavier. He's got like 20 pounds on the normal Snorlax, but a foot tiny. He's a he's a pudgy Pokemon. That's what he is. Facing such a Pokemon, the best thing to do is defeat it, then catch it. Remember, defeat, then catch, in that order. Right. I will keep that in mind. Oh my god, you got me, a lazy fuck. <laughs> Actually, I already know what nickname I will be using for this Snorlax. Uh, I have to go into my box, don't I? Yeah. Thirteen the Ace! Mr. Ace himself! Congratulations! You are now a Snorlax! Done! Ride the Snorlax! Shall I ride, Ace? Maybe I should. Might not be a bad idea. We'll peek at you away for the time being. Ace will travel alongside you. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at this. What you looking at, Ace? He's sniffing in the salty air. Uh, hey, Crimson. Uh, also, props for not missing the Snorlax. I've seen that happen. Yes, your trainer can fail to hit a chunk... Fail to hit a target the size of a decently sized chunk of wall. <laughs> He's too big for the path. Look at him go! <laughs> what? What the fuck? You can do that? <laughs> yes! Yes, you can! <laughs> Pikachu and I are just holding off for dear life at this, at, at this point. I know. This is this is great. This is just great. The the funny thing is is that this is definitely slower than um walking myself. But it's funny. This is just so funny. Maybe before Snorlax trips and crushes the trainer to death. Yeah, I think that would be like the biggest um threat right now to this. Is just getting completely crushed. How's Squirtle doing? What Officer Jenny, you're just not going to question the fact that I'm riding on a Snorlax's stomach? Oh, come on. <laughs> right, Onyx next. I know, he's slow as- he's slow as shit. You gotta admit, though, it's funny. It is certainly funny. God. All right, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> ace. We had our fun with you. You're gonna be back in the box for the time being, though. Right, this Geodude is the one I want to trade. We have all these Growlithe as well, but I already nicknamed this one, so we're sticking with Neo for that particular Growlithe. Uh, hmm. I mean, unless hold on. Check summary. Truth be told, it's not that bad. Also not bad. Attack is fantastic, apparently. Good stats, good stats. Great attack, great special attack, great defense, and okay and everything else. I can I can live with that. Maybe you'd write Genghis Khan next. If I had a Genghis Khan, I would. Hmm. Who do we bring back? Maybe actually that makes the most that makes the most sense. Boop. Uh, how was your Thanksgiving musical? Hope you didn't eat too much and didn't spend too much money. Did not spend too much money. 
Uh, but I ate way too much. <laughs> I had way too much money. When I get my Snorlax, I'm naming it after you. That's fine, GGK. That's fine. You know what? Stark! Let's travel together. We haven't traveled together since you were a little Metapod. Stark Fawn is sniffing the salty air. Oh. Happily staring at the swaying flowers. It's cute. All right, let's continue our journey down south. I want to check that fishing house. Oh yeah, right, the one right here. Do do do. Fisherman Andrew. Tentacool, huh? Which book do you think you are? I am a dark cry. <laughs> um. If you ask GGK, I would be a Snorlax, so maybe I'll just go with that. Yeah, see? In one lost episode, Superman almost dies because he was wearing the wrong sized cloak. He had a narrow escape. A narrow escape. Great. Oh dear. I didn't get a good look at that move the first time. That surf is terrifying. Oh, come on. Seriously? Fine. See how it is? Goodbye, Tentacool. Rogue is at level 30. 15 levels to go, Rogue. And you could finally be a Vile Plume. Do I want to switch? Honestly, no. Not really. I had one hit point left, didn't I? Holy crap. Good Lord in heaven. So you liking the game musical? Do you see it's as easy as everyone says it is? Ah, you know, if you take advantage of every feature the game has to offer while you play through it, yeah, the game is kind of easy. The fact that you can double team opponents with a second Joy-Con, you don't even need a second co-op partner. You can do it by yourself. I was watching Randomize do it at my house the other day. Uh, you could definitely take advantage of that. You could take advantage of all the, the leveling stuff if you're going out and catching tons and tons and tons of Pokemon, which is kind of what they intend for you to do, sort of. You're going to have oodles of experience. You're not going to really have any trouble. If you're playing it like me, in which I'm really only catching new things or things that I want, I'm not really going out of my way to grind or anything. And I'm also training up multiple Pokemon at the same time, not just one solitary team of six. This game can be kind of challenging. It's got a good curve to it, honestly. There you get remembered everything. Could you tell me who I might be? Mr. Dazzling. Mr. Razzle Dazzle. Such a wonderful ring to a Mr. Dazzling. You must be right. I'm Mr. Dazzling. Excuse me? Dazzling. Wait, excuse me? 
It's for Dazzling Gleam. It's a fairy type move. Something that's hard to find in Kanto. Okay. Sure. But wait. What? Wait, what would have happened if I chose move to leader? No. Wait, come on. Oh, freaking hell. <laughs> I was being a jackass. I didn't think that would happen. There are no such people as move deleters. Wait. Ghastly can learn Dazzling Gleam? What the fuck is this planet? <laughs> you fool! <laughs> oh, God. I mean, we have Dig. Honestly! Hold on. Wait, Dig would be really good for Karsten, wouldn't it? Yeah, get rid of Defense Curl. Learn Dig instead. Ah, uh, so musical what's the new big new Let's Play after this. We forget that Persona 4 Golden Let's Play, just wondering. I mean, eventually. <laughs> There's so many games I want to play. <laughs> it's not enough time. Now, do I want to teach Brick Break to Menke over here? Give you the target, the greater the moose power. Critical hits land more easily, or just better base power. It's kind of the, the trade-off here. But the karate chop focus energy combo is really potent. I was gonna talk. Tys bleh, seismic toss ain't so bad either. Eh, I don't know. Apparently, Gasly already knows Dark Pulse. Okay then, fair enough. Wait, excuse me? Mankey can learn Thunderbolt. What? What the hell? Uh, I'm actually interested in teaching Thunderbolt to Ghastly, though. I think that'd be really useful. Honestly? I'd probably teach it over Sucker Punch. As, like, cool a move as Sucker Punch is, your attack stat is god-awful. Even with the, the bonuses you get to it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Persona more golden does like. Let's do it, boys. <laughs> oh god. This way, Ghastly can actually be useful against quite a few different things. Flying and water types, beware. Ghastly's on the prowl. Catch combos are if you get you guys in the same species by going over and over, you'll have a better chance of beating a really strong one. Thanks, game. Are we allowed to fish at all? Hey Ace, welcome back. Uh, ha, <laughs> teach it. Hi Snorlax. <laughs> uh, Ace, I have something I need to show you. <laughs> Rock or Luca? Send out that Electa Buzz. Do it all you want, I don't care. We have Rogue. Rogue to take the front. Oof, that Electabuzz is actually kind of tough. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Makes sense if you think about it. That theory that says Gengar is just Clefable Shadow, that it makes sense that I can learn that move. I mean, I guess. <laughs> you carry the team, literally. Rogue, stay strong. Keep draining the sky for all he's worth. Well then, cool. Alright, that is one done Electabuzz. Level 27 for Tank, level 30 for Karsten, level 29 for Roboy. I think he's gonna evolve. 
I'm relatively sure Haunter evolves in the early 20s. Yeah. I'm like, I'm pretty sure he's like overdue for his evolution. And there we go. Roboy is now a Haunter. Very nice. Ooh, Waterstone. Now ride Haunter. I don't think you can ride Haunter. Oh my god, wait, you can? What? How do you ride a ghost? That's hilarious because you can't ride Gengar. But you can ride freaking Haunter! What the hell? Haunter is massive! He's feeling totally carefree too. That's, 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 that's great. That's, that's amazing. I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this anymore. Wait a minute. Okay, hold the phone. I need to look through my, my thing. You can ride Persian. I know that much. Hmm. Who else can you ride? You could surf on a Gyarados. I've seen that. That face, Gamer.exe is broken down again. That's way bigger than he is in the anime. I know you could ride Charizard. I wonder if you could ride Pidgeot. Ooh, that might be something to try and find out. I know you can ride Onix. Okay. <laughs> Let's just... Ooh, wait. Onix, come here, boy. On it. Whoa! There we go. He he's too big. Onyx is too big for Smash. Confirmed. I mean, you gotta admit this is this is pretty freaking cool. <laughs> oh yeah, you ride Rhyhorn. I've read I've ridden my Rhyhorn before. Wait, I found five. Excuse me. Out of the blue? Onyx is enjoying the sun. Feeling totally carefree. So I've, I've ridden my Rhyhorn before. What else can I ride? Oh wait, I have to, we have to show Ace. <laughs> we have to show Ace. Hey, you haven't yet got a Nido King. He's really good, uh, probably the best member on my team. And no, you can't ride Pidgeot. I've already tried. Oh, no. Ah, oh, it's a shame. All right, so Ace. There you are. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yes, you can ride Arcanine. He's too wide. He's too wide. He's too wide for the for the beers. Join the warmth of the sun. We're just we're just you know casually hanging out. Freaking Snorlax. Oh, that's amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Uh, I can't get over that. Jesus Christ. All right, I think that's gonna be. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, I know that. The the fact that they put something like this in the game just shows that they're just having they just had fun with this game. All right, that is going to be all for the stream today. I'm really tired. I'm like falling asleep. Oh, it's bad. But I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this stream. We'll be back with some more Let's Go in the coming week because I'm just having a freaking blast playing this game. So that is going to be all. 
Thank you all for coming out. I'll catch you guys in the next stream, which will be probably sometime during the week. I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, next Friday. See you guys later. Have some fun. And <laughs> don't, don't be tired like me. See you guys then.